Well, it's that time again, and by time I mean the thing we do every week for no reason. This week we got yet another guest to showcase for your listening pleasure. Her name is Tamara Fritz. Say hello, Tamara. Hello, this is Tamara Fritz reporting in. Well, it was wonderful getting to know you. Anyway, next up is the one you all know. There's Like 77, 7 Say hello, Like. I, get, I am here too, I guess. <laughs> he is, he guesses. <laughs> But anyway, enough of him. You hear him every week. You hear me every week, too. So let's let's talk about something else. Or rather, someone else. Tell us what you're all about, Miss Fritz. Tell us everything. Uh, well, I will certainly try. There's, you know, you can't really reduce someone to just a podcast. I think that's a little rude. But, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, um, I'm a, a voice and actress <laughs> and a singer and... Uh, I don't honestly I don't know what else I do uh I that's more than enough really (laughs) yeah I mainly do uh commercial work and video games and animation and uh sometimes I make music on the side shorter list is there anything you don't do is there anything Um, you don't (laughs) well I'm not good at art I'm not good at um uh, math so cross that one off don't hire me to do your uh accounting please (laughs) <laughs> oh, math is the devil. I mean, it's good that you don't do oh, math because fine. it is pure evil. I mean, <laughs> it is. so it's good that you don't do math. Objectively. I mean, it's bad for everyone. Yes, it's bad for everyone <laughs> and everything ever. So that's not a bad thing. Don't feel bad about that. I, I will try. Thank you so much. That, that makes me feel valid. It should. <sighs> it should. Well, for my part, I can attest to the, the many talents you just listed. I mean, I've, I've listened to some of your music. I've commissioned some of your music, and I, I still listen to it. It's really good. Oh, have you? And, what have uh, you commissioned from her? What's her stuff appeared in our stuff? <laughs> well, not yet, but it's, it's, it's scheduled to be in a later uh, video we're releasing later. Well, I don't, I don't make me say more. It's I didn't make you say anything. You introduced the damn topic. <laughs> Though, while we're on the subject, uh, what music can you... I'm just saying... Though, while we're on the topic, what music have you created that you can discuss? Uh, Well, I've done a a bunch of stuff. I released an album last September on, like, Mm. all the major Mm. platforms, so you search that up on iTunes and Spotify and whatever else I put it on that I can't remember. Um, There you go. It's on Spotify, yeah. Yeah. it's mainly indie pop. Uh, a lot of it was acoustic stuff that I did when I just had a guitar. So <laughs> Everybody likes guitar. Guitar is the voice of the soul, man. If you're into that stuff, I am. So, <laughs> what, uh, like, do you do covers and stuff or original? What, what's, what's the deal? What, what is that all about? I mainly post my original stuff, but I've done plenty of covers over on my YouTube before. I've done a lot of video game stuff, like from The Witcher, Dragon Age. Uh, goodness, what else have I done? Then uh, fantasies everybody likes. I didn't mean to tell you, I, I am a big fan of that cover you did of Mercy uh, from Moana. I really oh, like yeah, that. my parodies. Those ones are... Those Who doesn't popular. love more? Oh, you do parodies. Oh, I you sure do. You do song parody. Oh, God, I got to listen to some of that. <laughs> I'm a big fan of song parody myself. Love song parodies. They're so much Hell fun Hell, yeah. God, thank you, Weird Al. Thank you for sort I of know. reinventing this whole thing. The <laughs> Running With Scissors was one of the first albums I owned, and I, I think that some of it stuck with me. <laughs> Hell, yeah. As it should. It should be there in your brain forever. Inspiring. Making you tease other people's songs and comedically work them into funny things. Oh, yeah, it's just definitely. Magic. Just keeping you waiting for more news of, oh, man, when can I hear this music? <laughs> Hell, yes. <laughs> well, speaking of video games, Absolutely. what video games have you done? Because, honestly, we we here, we, are, we love video games, but we're not all that uh, knowledgeable of the new stuff the youngsters are playing. So, what video games have you been in on? Well, I've been in Hound's The Last Hope, which I don't Ooh. recommend playing, as that one was a kind Ouch. of a rush job for me. But, uh, uh, yeah, that was my first big role. Uh, nice. I've also been in uh, Heroes of New Earth. I play two different avatar skins on that game. I've been in uh, Marvel Avengers Academy, which my character just came out. Yeah. Oh, really? oh God. Who are you? Who I, are you? <laughs> I'm Scarlet Witch. Oh, oh, that's so cool. That's a shame Sylph couldn't be yep. here. Our buddy Tall as Silver is a humongous oh, Scarlet Witch fan, and she would have loved to collaborate with someone else who is the character. Yeah, I am. I'm 
Scarlet Witch. That was a, such a cool opportunity, and I saw it, and I knew I needed to audition for it. It was just, I'm so lucky that I got it. <laughs> that's awesome. That is very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, that's a good fit. I could I could totally see, uh, hear you from the Scarlet Witch. I forget what exactly yeah. I did. I know I did, like, a sort of Polish accent, and I just kind of worked that in a little bit, and I made my voice a little bit higher, and, and I just kind of went with that. So well. hear me. I'm in Marvel Avengers Academy. It's That's really perfect. Cool. <laughs> well, you gotta love it. Check it out. Buy the expansion pack or whatever. It's yeah, it's it's, it's really paywall, but you know. <laughs> hey. No, but it's always it's always nice to, to to listen to that. I mean, we've had actually the our last guest Sandra uh, was also in in uh, yeah. game playing uh, America Chavez. Yeah, I, I love Sandra's work. She's so good and so talented. Um, and uh, a lot of my friends have been in both years of New Earth and Adventures Academy, so it's. Nice to be out there with them. Um, so it's, you're all like a family. Sort yeah, of. we're all doing <laughs> the same stuff. <laughs> That's always good. It's always good to see familiar blood. Yeah, and I'll be in uh, my time at Porsche, which comes out on like console, PC, etc. later this year. PC gamer myself, so I'm always happy that things are available on PC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wish I had a PC that could play more games, but you know. I'll take what I can uh, get. That's always the struggle. It's always the struggle. It's like consoles, uh, more expensive, uh, but PC, you always have to upgrade your damn system. So pick your poison, really. Yeah. yeah. I'm more old school. I prefer the consoles, but, you know, I, I just my computer's so slow as it is. So yeah, I like console yeah. a lot for just the fact that everyone is using the same equipment for the most part. Yep. You know, you can have, like, crappy PS4s or Xboxes, but for the most part, everyone's running the same stuff, so... I just really miss the days when we all had an N64 and we were playing Mario Kart. God, I want those days back. <laughs> I want my Pokemon Snap Party weekends to be back. That would be great. But Yeah, when's the next no. Pokemon Snap coming out? Love I that. know. I've been waiting for, like, what, 20 years? Fuck. I know. Chop, chop. Let's go, Nintendo. Oh, Come on. You're, dro- uh, you're dropping the ball. Enough with the Legend of Zelda games. We got it. No, I guess, you know, I always thought that uh, the, in, instead of creating a new Pokemon Snap, they just decided, hey, let's allow them to take pictures in Pokemon Go. Same thing, right? Yeah. I mean, you can... you can you... It does feel like the evolution. Yeah, I mean, way, it's you know. just, you can take so many candid photos of Pokemon. You can... I've seen Abra on a toilet. I've seen Machoke at an actual gym. <laughs> Uh, Evie being walked in a dog park. There's just endless possibilities. Only problem is you can't earn points. But yeah. I miss Pokemon Snap, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, no, me too. Mm-hmm. I remember playing it a lot over at my friend's house because I, I was in one of those houses where you weren't allowed to have video games. So oh, that was fun. Oh, no. But... You, had a, you were in a Puritan <laughs> household? Oh, yeah. With a, so with a video Puritan. Game. I needed to do things like my homework. Uh, homework is for suckers. Pokemon and... is the work of the devil. Uh, so they told kids. It was always like time Harry to do Potter homework. that was the work of the devil. Pokemon was just annoying because all the kids got focused on it. I see. So Pokemon was a distraction and Harry Potter was the devil. Okay, that yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, that's that's more what it was. Yeah. Well, I mean... It's turning away from Christian Christendom into uh, Dumbledore. Yes, but now that you're away... I guess. Now that you're away from that household, now you've discovered these things and realized they're not all bad. Addictive, but not bad. Yeah, I was actually lucky because my, uh, my elder brother, who's much older than me, actually gave me a PS1 um, when Aww. I was about 12, and my, my, my dad like didn't really have a problem with video games. He just thought they were distracting. So mm-hmm. he couldn't exactly say no, so I... That's kind of the point, Pop. Yeah. <laughs> we're, kind just... of, we're trying to distract ourselves. <laughs> I just I just got that from him, and then two years later, my dad bought a PS2 and was like, well, this is for me, but it ended up being mine anyway. <laughs> hypocrite! You damn hypocrite! <laughs> yeah. Keeping all the good shit for yourself? How dare you? <laughs> I'm, over, I'm over here playing old school Crash yeah, Bandicoot, I... and you're already on Kingdom Hearts. What the hell, Dad? <laughs> You know, the next uh, Stranger Things or whatever the next, you know, like, uh, nostalgia phenomenon is, it's going to show that. It's going to show our generation, like, when we were playing 64 instead of the Pac-Man or whatever that they show in the 80s. Uh, in the 80s, it was mostly about Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Yeah, I'd imagine. 
Yeah, well, okay, I actually, did Super Nintendo come out? I think Super Nintendo was 90s, or was it late 80s? I don't remember, but, yeah. It didn't... No, it was late 80s, start of 90s. Okay, well, in that case, yeah, back then, it was all about, you either had a Nintendo or a Sega. That's the, That was it. Every, yeah. Everything else was just in the way. <laughs> God, I remember yeah. Sega? That feels yes. old, just to say that. <laughs> Yeah, right. that old word, that old papyrus word, Sega. It was like a war we were part of. Nobody remembers. <laughs> yeah, it was an ancient console war that has since been, you know, blogged about endlessly, and people still make videos about it. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Mostly they just veer off and start talking about Sega Tassanshiro and what a great hero he was, even though he lost Nintendo 1. But we're not here to talk about that. <laughs> We could, but we're not. <laughs> but, you not know, it's funny. <laughs> I was living in a Nintendo world. I mean... Occasionally. I, I, didn't, I didn't, for the like of me, I didn't know anybody who had a Sega. Like, I, I saw a Sega at, like, dentist's office and stuff on the when I had to get a checkup. There was always <laughs> there was always a video game system that, you know, like, when you, when you go to a place that kids have to do and, like, they have video game systems set up. I always went to the dentist and I saw a Sega. I'm like, where's a Nintendo? I know. Uh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> like, I remember when... The Nintendo 64 came out. That's when I started really noticing video game stuff. Hell and yeah. my my grandfather actually wanted a Nintendo 64. So I mm. went with my grandma to the store to make sure she got the right one. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> so you sounds actually, like a good man, your grandpa. Yeah. yeah, we used to play Zelda together. Like I would read Aww. I would read the strategy guide. And then he would nice. he would play through the game because I was a little too scared too. I was uh, I was eight and I was you know what scary Ocarina cat. was a creepy game. Ocarina had some genuine scary shit in it. I don't blame you one bit. Yeah, the water the water temple still scares me to this day. I don't know what something about that just grabbing you and throwing. You that is the... bad. Um, I will never for the life of me forget. Okay, it's like you're in the middle of the game and okay, Ganon took over the world. You go back to the town center. Those creepy ass mummy oh, things. The I could not sleep yeah. after I saw those things. And the, the way noise. they... they sc- yeah, they scream at you right before they air uh, hump you. It's... Oh. Yeah. Oh, that that gave me, me nightmares. Yes. So, yeah, you have no shame being scared of Zelda. That was uh, uh, that was a spooky game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, just when, you, when you think about, like, the, um, the graphics of that time versus the graphics of now, that still scares me more. Somehow. Well, you know, the graphic... Well, because it's... Honestly, they look so blocky and indistinguishable that it's creepier that way. Yeah, I so, agree. Sometimes yeah. you don't need to be able to make everything out perfectly. Yeah. It's like, I mean, hell, if we're talking about blocky things not looking right, look at Lara Croft. Nowadays, her body is perfectly digitized and, you know, very kind of expertly handled in how much they really want to show her off. But back then, she just had big Legos on her, man. She was just made up of Legos with a painted face. Yep. Same thing with a lot of those heroes. I mean, look at Solid Snake's butt. His, <laughs> his butt got beautifully digitized. I think he still won an award for how perfect his butt was sculpted in that later game. And then, But if yeah. you look at his old games, he's just a compilation of pixels. Yeah, he's it's just amazing. He's like well-placed pixel, rectangles. Exactly. Well placed <laughs> rectangles that turned into chiseled digital butts, and that's what's really important. I think that's really can you, can you, the magic of video games. Magic, <laughs> just magic. Yeah, that's what it's really but all I, about. I, I, I mean, I can't, I, I can't speak to like everybody, obviously, but I do feel like personally, I've reached that point where I know I'm old because you know I still remember and more fondly the games of my era, like the ones we're talking about. Oh. Like every time I see a new game, I'm like, well, that looks interesting, but. I don't feel it as strongly anymore. Well, I understand that, but I knew I was old when I started hating kids. It happened quickly. <laughs> it actually, it didn't, it didn't take long. And then, you know, I started seeing what they were liking, and I'm like, you're wrong and stupid, and I know better than you. Get off my lawn, you my little pony loving fuck. Yeah, but, sometimes, yeah. like, the, I, I feel like advertising does do its job, especially on younger kids because they see oh, totally. oh this thing is all anyone talks about it must be good yep. and anyone who says it's, differently is wrong that is correct it's all digitized peer pressure baby it's just yeah. if you don't have this thing you're a loser by it now yeah i think that's you don't want to be the only just really don't realize like or, or even don't have the guts to speak up and say hey maybe i didn't like this as much if their friends like it they like it it's true 
But with the advent of the internet, that's gotten even worse. Now that like everything is social media, not only do you have to have the new thing, but you have to blog about it, and you have to blog about it in a way other people are blogging about it, or else you ran cool. I am so glad I yeah, missed that. Yeah, stream it as you play it, man. That's how it is. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you know, you gotta post your own Let's Play or a reaction video or whatever. It's, God, the internet got so political with the youngins. They just, damn, do they have to more to prove. They gotta, they gotta put a lot, of, they gotta put a lot more on the line just for things they like. And I, I just miss the days. Can't we all just go to each other's houses and play? There's a fifteen-year-old listening right now, probably going like, "You don't know me, man." Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's like uh, I remember when the internet sounded like. Yep, yeah, those glorious sounds. I remember when someone was on the phone. They knocked me off the internet, and we couldn't blog. We couldn't blog about anything. Mm. You had to read it in the instruction Log manual. Logging involved phones that flipped. <laughs> yes, we had phones that flipped and only barely connected to the internet. And we didn't have no Siri. We didn't have no Alexi. We didn't have no stupid Google Circle. Nothing like that. No, we, we had... F- live on the internet from CD to CD that you got That's in the right. mail. <laughs> That's right! Oh my god, the CDs. The Remember AOL games- trials. Yeah. Oh, Fuck, that takes me back. Remember, <laughs> remember AIM Messenger. Remember when uh, that was a thing? God, I uh, I wouldn't get off that. I was there. I was on that all of, night. Did, did any of you ever like uh, go to Blockbuster to rent a video? Oh game? yeah, yeah, like oh, every yeah. weekend. That that was what you did back then, man. I went to Hollywood Video to rent oh, games. Hollywood Video. That was the other one. That was there were the the big two the was two. Blockbuster and Hollywood Video. Yep. And in the end, it didn't matter. <laughs> no, because we all got suckered by the same source. It was the same thing. Yeah, really. we all got but suckered. There, there was there was something cool as a, as a kid to like uh, you know you you leave school on Friday you know and then you do something else with your friends and then before you head home you're like oh let's up a blockbuster we get the new game that's what you did watch the latest movie that came out six months yeah ago. before <laughs> before streaming that's what you did you went yeah. you know, y'all your friends got together you you pooled together your weekend money you got you went there you rented a game you played it for the weekend and then you turned it in late on Monday your parents yelled at you and you're like God when's the next weekend gonna start you had to like delete your saves after you dropped it off if yeah. you knew you didn't want to play it again because you yep. ran out of space on your memory card. Oh god, I remember memory cards. And you always and you always delivered it late. You always, always. Like, kept it for like a week. Always. Extra. Yeah, and you always had to pay your parents always had to pay a late fee and they gave you the stink eye for it. They're like, <laughs> you little <laughs> But no, I, I remember. I told you to give it back. But the other great thing about Blockbuster, not just that you know you went, it was a ritual every week. But there was more to it than that. You went in there and it was like an atmosphere. You know, there were toys, there were cool things to look at. They really, they really splurged on advertising. You know, oh, I, yeah. I'll never forget. Yeah, remember when Pokemon Snap became first came out, and it's like they had this whole like setup just for that. Back when Pokemon was just getting going, and it's like this huge thing and. Oh, yeah, you could, like, trial some of the stuff. Like, they had, in some stores, they had, like, the whole display, and you could, like, try Mm -hmm. it, but it had the plexiglass over everything. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yes, I remember the plexiglass. That's that's super common now, but that's when it's... Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I, I mean, we, but we were there. Like, oh, you can play at the store. Like, yeah. yeah, but we were there when it all started, and we were there buying the toys and buying them, you know, the theme weeks. Remember the theme weeks, Halloween and shit like that? Just. They had the bundles uh, that you could get discounts on the big buckets of popcorn if you right. bought the right things. That's yeah. right. Yeah, as long as you bought. Yeah, I remember. I remember Independence Day weekend. If you, you if you bought that plus another thing, you got like a free bucket of popcorn or something. Oh god, the bundles. Yeah, they get uh, you with those add-ons. <laughs> they do. Oh, we 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 were suckered every single time because we could, were like, oh, yeah. oh wow, we're getting free stuff. We're too stupid to know that we're being rooked. Let's do it. God, we don't care. We're gonna eat it. We're, I mean, we're, we weren't paying for it anyway. Yeah. So. Same with Godzilla. It, it basically any of those summer blockbusters. Whenever they came out, Blockbuster would have a whole deal about it, and we'd all get suckered. You know, we'd all buy dinner, and the family would all get together, go to Blockbuster, get the deal, go home, and then be disappointed by. <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys remember like when when things would come out? Sometimes you would call ahead. And yes. ask them to reserve yeah. it, and if you weren't, <laughs> if time. you weren't fast oh, enough, 
you didn't yeah. get to see it for weeks. Nope, you had to do it like like Thursday or Friday, like Thursday night or Friday morning, like when they were still open. You had to be like, "Hey, do you still have it in stock?" No, no, no. It, no you you had to know a guy. You had to like, yeah. you know, oh, Ralph. Yeah, hey, you, you got the thing for me. <laughs> yeah. Or 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 if you were lazy, like you called your friends up. Hey, did you guys get? Okay, we're going over to his house. Everybody, let's go. Come on. <laughs> you just have everybody yeah. in the neighborhood calling in. And then yep. when one of your friends gets it, then, oh, okay, we're going to watch it every night in the week. Whoever can make it. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's right. Anyone who can make it, we're all I mean, going to like, Sal's house for Godzilla and I. Come on, people. Let's watch Roland Emmerich's future yeah, worst that, that movie. Was, that was the worst. To, to get there and be like, so you have it? Yeah. Just right now. No! Oh, who, who has Come on. It? I will fight. I need my fix, man. I need my fix. I need my block-busting fix. Come on, man. <laughs> It's like, it's okay, you can, you can just watch The Mask of Sorrow again. No, I already watched it five times, I can't do it again. Well, I have Turner and Hooch, you remember that timeless classic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. How about The Breakfast Club? Yeah, yeah, I, I miss those days. I miss when going when Blockbuster was like a weekend excursion rather than a joke, which is what it is now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love, I love Netflix and uh, all the streaming services, and I, I love that you can just... Like you know, watch it in the moment. Oh, totally. I, mean, I, I wish I had. I, I wish we had that as a kid. I mean, right now, we were the three of us were kids going to Blockbuster, and somebody told us, "What if I just got you all the movies, all the movies for this much a month, and you can watch it instantly and stop it, and you don't have to return?" And all that. we'd be like, we'd be, "We'd be all over that." Oh, oh yeah. Sonny. But looking at it now, that's a ridiculous pipe dream that'll at... never happen. You're talking crazy. <laughs> now here, let's rent this VHS. <laughs> Let's rent this fine VHS. I hear there's something called a David. A David is coming pretty soon, and it's going to change everything. Good old David. Oh, man. I, I remember, remember no, not I remember being able D- to, like, get the first Harry Potter movie. Like That was back in 2001. Fuck. Yeah. That's, I remember that we, had, we still had VHS, uh-huh. and we didn't have a DVD player yet, but the VHSs right. were out of stock immediately, and all they had was mm-hmm. DVDs. Yeah, because back then we still all had our VCRs. It wasn't a dead oh, technology yet. I know what you're talking about. When the uh, the transition started, they had like this little yep. section of just DVDs that people were like, that's never going to catch That's up. right. We, that's what we all said that. We're like, nah, we all have a VCR. No one's going to switch to discs. What the hell? You listen to music on discs. That changed too. <laughs> it's like, God. Remember when you used to buy music on CDs and you used to have the CD players? It's like... Then M three three players came. M P three players came yeah, along, MP3 and that all changed. Players. Eleven songs. Yep. <laughs> a CD would have like eleven songs, and you thought like, "Wow, this is gonna last me three months yep. at least." And that's like you kept them forever, and they got all old and shit. And then you realized, "Oh wow, what's this Apple Apple iPod? Yeah. What's an iPod? <laughs> Fuck!" And God. then everything went. I, re- I still re- I still remember my last CD, and I'm not ashamed to say it, but it was the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I, I had a Backstreet not, Boys not a bad CD. Choice. I like those guys. Yeah, I didn't like and and Sync and Suck it. I like the Backstreet Boys. I thought if Sync were, were entertainers, you know, they were yeah. good at what they did. But I like I always liked the Backstreet Boys better growing up. They were right. They were cool. I liked them. I was larger than life. Hell yeah, baby. I still remember that opening. Fuck, I'm old. Uh, and that's a, that's another old, thing that old. that's going to be the title. That's another thing that died out around that time was boy bands. Boy, were they everywhere, and you couldn't hear the shut up about them. Yeah, I mean they they try and and make them like nowadays like outside of K-pop, obviously, but like sure they try and bring well, K- them back once in a while, and then sometimes K-pop's... it catches on. Well, yeah, it. until they reach their inevitable bad boy phase and they yeah. try to grow up. And then, you know, you got your Miley Cyruses and your One Directions. And then they they try to get all sexy and that always blows up in their face. And, and then they get some scandal because, you know, they're boy bands and yeah. everyone wants them. <laughs> Seems like the only one that was smart was Justin Timberlake, you know? Yeah. After he, after he created the meme, it's going to be May which it is now, he, you know, he diversified. He, you know, he got into movies. He got into comedy sketch shows. And he's like, it's like, why didn't any of you do what he did? Yeah. Mr. Joey Fatone and the Funky Bunch. Why didn't you do what he did? I don't know. They made enough money and they retired on it. Like, they just kept it. 
Well, good for them. I do the same thing, honestly. <laughs> Fucking yeah. career. I mean, not, not, not every <laughs> uh, you know celebrity actor, musician, whatever. They, they, they sometimes they just do a thing or two, and like for a few years, and they're like, you know, I'm good. I, I did my thing. I'm gonna retire. Yeah. I don't need to do this forever. I made I mean, a lot yeah. of teenagers squeal at me, and then you know, I'm done with that now. I'm, I've decided to retire in my late twenties. <laughs> I mean, so you know, it's it's so high risk, high good. reward. You know, if you keep yeah. going, you either like make more money, even yeah. more money than God, yeah, or you lose it all in a tragic, you know, incident that you have to cover. <laughs> Poor Joey Fatone. Anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> no, but uh, how no, but old there, there were, there were... and creaky our bones <laughs> are. I was going to say, well, one, I mean, one person who made that transition and who did become a god was Mocky Mock of the Funky Bunch. He decided to become an Oscar winning actor and good for him. Good on him. Good on him, mate. I bet, I I bet you, I bet I I could find you in a blockbuster somewhere. I mean, I, I guess good for him is like he succeeded in being a good like managing himself, I guess, but it's I've never been excited about Marky Mark. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening. I mean, like, oh no, Marky Mark's in this movie. I'm yay. I don't... <laughs> yeah, I, I never knew him as Marky Mark. I just knew him as that guy in, uh, you know, that guy from Planet of the Apes, and then yeah. that guy from The Happening. The one with Ben Affleck all <laughs> the time. Ben Affleck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least Ben Affleck's done something with his career. Yeah, he, well, and then he flopped constantly, and then he yeah. got back up on the Argo train. But try to remember, there was a time when the world decided, despised Ben Affleck. <laughs> they just, like, go away. I remember. Yeah. It's back around the time he decided that Jennifer Lopez was a good idea. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, but he's... Very. He's Batman now. He's, he's okay. Batman. <laughs> but he doesn't want to be Batman. He he he'd rather be he'd rather redo Daredevil. He's like, guys, I know Daredevil sucked. Okay, it wasn't my fault. I didn't want to be in a coffin stew at night. I didn't want to date. I really didn't want to date Jennifer Carter. You have to trust me on that. And I thought Clark, Kevin Mike Clark, Michael Clark Duncan was a good idea. I vouched for that. Can't get him back now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Daredevil. There's a million reboots, and there's going to be a million more. Oh, God, yes. We all know that. Hell, there's even a reboot of Reboot. Oh, yeah. Yet another <laughs> yet another nostalgic thing from the 90s that we're all talking about now. They rebooted Reboot, man. They did, and they put it on Netflix. Like that's, that's it. That's the point. And it that's doesn't the... even look like Reboot. It doesn't even... I, I can't see one thing that possibly connects to the original. I don't know. Have any of you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> First of all, it's not computer generated. So sorry, it's not computer generated. Second, Tony J's dead. Three, none of the characters are doing what they did in the old show, which is stuff. In the Cyberverse, Fong is Yoda. I don't know. It just doesn't look right. I don't want to see it exadecimal. Hmm. Yeah, but there's I mean, there's good reboots too. There was Ducktales. Ducktales was good. Yeah. Yeah, I heard. Ooh, I like heard good too, stuff. So DuckTales, woohoo! Netflix reboot. Oh wait, no, it wasn't Netflix. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so used to Netflix rebooting shit. I just automatically oh, yeah. assume they rebooted that too. But no, they. I, they, they I honestly didn't. wouldn't be surprised if they actually, you know, stopped talking out their asses and actually pulled out a pushing Daisy, pushing Daisy. Yeah, pushing Daisy's remake. Really? Is that I, is that was was that on your Netflix wish list? Oh yeah. I huh. loved Pushing Daisies. I would love to really? see it come back, but uh, I don't know if. Eh. But you're talking about a revival, not so much a. Revival. Yeah, not a reboot, but like a. Okay. A, if they brought it back somehow. Okay, so not so not, not like uh, so not like a reimagining, but more like what Samurai Jack did and just gave it its final season at last. Yeah, I mean, I know there was problems with Samurai Jack coming back. With, oh uh, yes. There were. <laughs> and so and that, I'm kind of afraid of something like that happening, but you yeah. know, it's, it's but, you a know, double-edged to, to sword. Be honest, it does, it does yeah. seem, or katana. It does seem to be one or the other. Like companies are more like, okay, we either bring something back for like its season ten years later, or we reboot it and just. But it has to be something familiar. We can't do something new well, unless it's based on. Something I like closure myself. I mean, recently I like they. It. Have, yeah, right. Like even if it's bad, at least it's finished. You know, Samurai Jack is now finished. Hey Arnold is now finished. You know, it's it's a good thing. It's nice to have closure because right? 
There's one thing nobody can stand. It's cancellation. It's just... Uh, yeah. It's just stop. ending in the middle of nowhere. Right? You're leaving us in a desert of plot holes. And it's just not good for anybody. Even a bad resolution at least gives you some kind of emotional closure. Like, I okay, I can stop caring right? now. It's like you're allowed to reason. move on. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, I don't have to... Exactly. <laughs> Again, closure. Even if it's bad, it's... Even if it's the, bad, the it's... only time that, that the only time that didn't work, and only to a specific audience, but like with Star Wars, when you know mm. people have like thirty years of extant canon, you know, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, that's not going to happen because we're bringing it back," and what we say, well, goes, everything else. Yeah, but canon. that's not quite the same thing. That's more of a rejecting what was told and just retelling the story because the story's still going. No, no, I mean that's a more specific example of waiting too long to do that. I guess. I guess, but I mean, it's I mean expanded. I mean, the, I think. That all started after the prequels when they finally got it in their heads. Hey, you know, nobody liked those. Let's just continue the story from the stuff that they did like. You know? Yeah. I mean, they're just... But, not too. I mean, even if it is kind of... Depending on your opinion of the newer ones, but... Eh, I like them so far. Like, they're it not can perfect. always be redone. It can always... Yeah. You can always just say, hey, you know what? Forget about sure. those. Here's I was my... gonna say. Okay. I mean, how many times has the Hulk been redone? For God's sake, I think it's. I think there's no limitation on how many times something can be reperformed. It's not. It's not out of the loop anymore. No, we've had like ten James Bonds, seven Batmans. I mean, that's what I mean. Everything can always be remade, especially given how popular it is. So there's, even if you didn't like the last one, there's hope for another one. You know, that's that's one thing I've always that's liked about. James Bond is that they change James Bond and they never say anything about it. There's never nope. any t- discussion. <laughs> it just happens. It's like a soap opera where they just replace yep. the actor. <laughs> yep, just nobody cares. Just this is a thing That's now. A good way to put it, it's just a soap opera. They replace the actor. Yeah. And it's an I mean, action de- soap opera. Yeah, I guess it really depends though because I, I guess if you wanted to, you could bullshit something about oh the plastic surgery completely worked. You look totally different now, <laughs> but that would be dumb. I mean, that, no, that that depends on the situation. Like if they were to do that with like the Marvel movies, I I prefer that. But they movie. didn't so they, though. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. now looks like I'm Tom just Cruise. I'm just saying though when Don Cheadle took over the role of of uh, War of War Machine, nobody nobody even thought twice. It's like. Holy crap, you totally changed in face, hair, and overall build. That's amazing. Not to mention you look a few years older. Way to go, Rhodey. <laughs> Your plastic surgery completely worked. <laughs> you look 100% different, but nobody cares. To be fair, I don't think they could pull that off now. That was the like the first two or three movies, you know, they were still building. And first were, like, and last. It, yeah. So There's, I mean, well, Cheadle's been in too many Rhodey roles now, so it's impossible to change him out now, unless, like... Unless they want to pull some Infinity bullshit. Oh, Thanos changed his face for some reason. <laughs> We're not going to explain why, but he did. <laughs> but but no, you're right. I actually, I like that uh, about some things like James Bond or where, where it is literally just a change in actor and nobody says a word. Oh, look, Dumbledore's different. I don't know. I, yep. Yeah, yeah, he's different. <laughs> that was that was the other example. It's just so perfect. <laughs> yep. Just Dumbledore's just Dumbledore different. now. Yep, he's no longer a big, no, slow a speaking. Looks yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, he's uh, he's he's trimmed the beard and he suddenly talks like a game show host now. Come on, come on, everybody, come up to this haunting hat. <laughs> I don't know. I just, yeah, he had like a lot of energy. The first Dumbledore was just like, hello, if I talk louder, yes, I think I can. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yes, sure you yeah. gave that Philosopher's Stone back now? Or I'm sorry, Sorcerer's no. Stone. I have the English version. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> it's all right. In my head, you know, there are so many versions of Harry Potter. In the movies, it was, you know, there was, Dumbledore had a twin brother. Nobody told about him. Just uh, like, no, no. Aberforth is his name and nobody cares about him. You, Nobody you didn't cares. get arrested for any funny business with goats. That was no, no, he didn't. Nobody cares about I, him before. You know what? I, I'm I'm a horror fox. That's what I. Am. Oh man. That's right. That's why I look different. Gandalf had a... And anybody who says otherwise will go to the woods. Fuck you. Nobody bring it up. <laughs> with the centaurs with you. Yeah. <laughs> God. And there, but that's yeah, one of the, the that's one of the series that I'm just like the author can stop now. 
Yeah. Please stop. Yeah, no, I know exactly. Like, yeah, it's like I get it. This is your bread and yeah. butter. But like, dear, dear you're, J.K., you're, you've made more money than God. You really have more money than the Queen of England, as it is. Just you, you can stop. And also, stop inserting things about your characters years after they're made. We don't buy it. We know you're just trying to earn points. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's just. Yeah. I, mean, it, uh, yeah, I get it. I mean, she's free to do whatever she wants with her property. It's just if I if I believe it came from a place of I really want to expand on this so much as like well I tried this other thing nobody cared so I'm going back to Harry Potter I guess yes I've got a whole new set of books for the Weasleys I'm gonna have a whole new set of movies for the Weasleys this one's gonna be called Orange Part One (laughs) Ronnie the Bear it's also written by five other authors who are going to take over for me I'm going to put my name on it now that I'm rich enough to do that Yes, now that I can buy yeah, people. You're, you're, I know what you're talking yeah. about. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Now that I can buy people, my name goes on everything. Ugh. Everything. My name will even be on the Marauder's map, because I can do that. <laughs> I I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm conflicted with her because she gave me my favorite book series of my own life, and which did change my life when I was Oh, yeah, kid. when I was a kid, I, obviously. I, I, was, I made, actually, that was my first foray into online music making. Really? Was, yeah, was making Harry Potter themed music. So that's, that's fun. Was it be- well, that's interesting. Was it better than. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not better than John Williams. <laughs> mm. I mean, if you just. I mean, you say you go into parody. No, I, I, mean, no, I, I mean, I mean that because I, I was never into that one as much. It was like, it was okay, I guess. Well, I mean, if, you, if she's a parody artist, so if she wanted to, she could just go, dum, 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 this movie's dumb, kid has a lightning scar, his stupid ass friends are useless, cause they can't fight this charm, I don't know, something There you like go, that. excellent. Yeah, yeah, just go with the flow, man. Paul's got some music skills. Yeah, I did. I actually do song parody myself, so I got, I got, thank you, Weird Al, for imposing your song making ability and making me listen to Bye Bye This Anakin Guy a million times. A million times, yeah. A mil- <laughs> I, I know, you know what? I don't even know the real words to American Pie. I, I only know that song. I only no. know the Anakin version. <laughs> That was the first. That was my first introduction to American like Pie. It was, right? it was just that song, and then years later, I was like, "Oh, it's a parody of it's that." It's based on a song that I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna learn it. I, I like this one too much. <laughs> I like <laughs> Vader someday later way too much. I'm not gonna learn a new one. Absolutely. It's gonna ruin it for me. Yeah. It's much less interesting. You know, all this talk of song parody and songwriting and blockbuster and Weird Al just (laughs) makes me want to go listen to it. So I think we should all do that now. Let's just go back and play with our toys and our Nintendo 64s and do our song parodies, don't you think? Yeah, sounds like a good Friday night for me. Let's do it. Together. (laughs) Apart. In separate computers. We'll just go to that last blockbuster who's in somewhere in Ohio. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to my local blockbuster that doesn't exist and ask for my Netflix password. I'm out! <laughs> so, but thank you very much to Tamara for joining us. She's a doll. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, and be sure to listen to her. She's going to debut with us in Frontier Zero in the next episode, which is coming very soon. I can't give you a date, but very soon. <laughs> Remember to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media, and thank you, and good night.